What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and today I want to I want to show you guys how to program a common interview question. And this interview question is: Find the second largest element in an array of numbers or integers. And all I'm going to show you guys in this video is how to simply do that in the least complex time possible, which is O of n, big O of n. And without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, I'm doing this in Java, but the algorithm I'm going to show you will be able to be applied to any language if you want to. So as you can see here, I have a main method, which is a simple length of five array. And then I have um, a system print line where I'm printing out the method that I will fill out in this tutorial of a fine second with my array. And as you can see in my example, um, if, we, if this method works correctly, it should print out 8 because 8 is the second biggest element and 10 is the biggest. So as you can see here in my static element here, I'm going to take in an array. And so what I'm going to want to do, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to parse those variables. I'm going to parse through that array and I'm kind of going to do um, a, a way where I assess which is the biggest and which is the second biggest. And if I find the biggest, then I want to replace the biggest with what I just found and I want to make that the, what I thought what the current biggest is the new second biggest and also if I find an element that is only bigger than the second biggest but not bigger than the biggest then I want to just replace that just do a simple replace that second biggest so I if you guys didn't if you guys understood that feel free to code it yourself if you didn't feel free to follow along so right here I'm going to have an integer that's biggest and I'm going to have an integer that's um, second biggest. And I'm going to set this equal to integer dot min value. So I'm going to make these guys the minimum value possible for your integers. And integer dot min value. And so this assures that right now these variables are at their minimum, which for an integer is about negative 2 billion. You can look up the exact value of 1, 2, but it's about um, negative um, negative 2 to the 31st power minus 1 and what you're going to want to what the reason because we did that is because now we have a ground as to what the variables can be and since we're using integers now we know that the, th those are the lowest possible values they can be so if you have anything in the array that's not just the smallest value that it will be replaced when we run this iteration and now we're going to have a for loop. Just a simple loop the array. So i is less than length. i plus plus. There we go. And what we're going to do is I'm going to check if um, my the array elements I'm going through are bigger than the biggest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set sec the second biggest equal to biggest. And I'm going to set the biggest equal to my newly found biggest element. So this way, since I now know inside the if statement I found a bigger element than what I currently have as the biggest, that I push down the biggest and make it the second biggest, and then I put in the biggest element I just found equal to my biggest local variable. And now I'm going to have an else if to check for just if I find a second biggest element. So if second biggest is less than array I I am going to set second biggest equal to array I and at the end of my method oops I did not mean to do that at the out of side of my folder I'm going to return sec biggest set so the second biggest number so as you can see here, let me take you the, through the tutorial one more time. I'm going to initialize the two variables to the lowest known form possible for that type, which is um, the integer minimum value. And then I'm going to go through the array. And I'm going to look at each element in the array and say, hey, is that array, is that element bigger than the biggest number? If it is, then I'm going to say that the biggest that the current biggest is now the second biggest and now the biggest number is the new number I just found but also and then so if that's true I'm going I won't ex even check for this statement because it's wrapped in an else if but if it's if this if statement is not true I'm gonna check this else if and it's checks that the second biggest is if the second biggest is 
less than the array i, then second biggest is equal to the element I'm looking through. So this way, this way, no matter what, the second L, the second biggest will be looked for throughout the iteration. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to let me make my console a little bit bigger, and I have here again my example array of 10, 1, 4, 6, and 8, and hopefully we can output of 8 when we run this. And when I run this, I do get 8. Ooh, and let's see, just for kicks, let me make this 7. And when I run this, I get 7. Ooh, and uh, let me make, I guess this 7 this 9, this 32, this 41, and this 22. What's the biggest number? 32. And hey, 32. So there you go, guys. That's a way to find the second biggest element in array. And pretty cool. And definitely uh, look at this, guys. It may come up on interview, and it may get you a really nice job one day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be It'd be awesome if you guys followed me on Twitter and one of my website and maybe in the contact section you emailed me or post in the comments what you guys what tutorials you'd like to see me do next that would be great i hope you guys have a great day bye